PDQs or performance based questions are part of your security plus exam and you're going to have to practice them alongside the normal multiple choice questions. Previously, I've published 100 normal questions in my YouTube channel. Check them out and it's time to practice some more PBQs. All right. Here is the question. Your organization is implementing various security technologies to enhance its infrastructure. Match the appropriate security technology to each implementation. Each technology will be used only once. Okay. We have a couple of technologies in here, like DKIM, KSCrow, hashing, etc., etc. And we have some descriptions that we need to match these technologies to. These descriptions are from A all the way up to F. And you can go ahead and try to match these. Pause the video, match them, connect them, see what is what and then we will jump into the answers. All right, ready? A, we have securely store passwords on a database. How are we going to do that? Well, if you have experience, you know that we are using hashing. A password on its own is in a plain text format. And if it is compromised, the attacker can easily understand what your password is. So we will try to give it into this hashing function like SHA-1, MD5, which is deprecated, that has hash collision. Write down in the comment if you know what is a hash collision. Or SHA-256, etc., etc. And this way, the passwords are going to be more secured when they are stored in the database. The attacker must do more effort in order to understand what was the original input since it is a one-way function. All right, how about B, verify if the identity of a sender is legitimate. Now, usually these things are happening during HTTPS connection, a secure connection, and we are using digital certificate to see if the sender's identity is authentic or not. Write down in the comment what is a CA or Certificate Authority if you know. What about C? Attempt to verify whether mail is legitimate. Which one is that? Well, that would be the DKIM. Now, there are three different protocols, DKIM, DMARC, and SPF. We only have two of them in here. Now, if you have been lost before, what is the difference between DKIM, DMARC, etc.? Probably this question is going to clarify that. So, if you want to verify if a mail, the sender, is legitimate or not, you're going to use DKIM. How about D? Suggest what to do with the mail if it isn't legitimate. Probably it was a little bit of a giveaway, but it's the mark and the mark is gonna, let's say, send the email into the spam folder. If there is a specific rule for that, send it to a spam folder, do this, do that. That would be the job of the MARC. All right. How about E? Maintain a record of all changes to ensure data consistency after a system failure. Which one is that? That's also an important thing that you will probably see during your Security Plus exam called journaling. So journaling is another name for taking snapshots. It's very similar to taking snapshots. If something happens, you're going to verify and you're going to uh, revert back maybe via your backup plan back back out plan and uh, that would be the name for it journaling a uh, terminology all right what about f a reliable third party holds a copy of cryptographic keys to encrypt and decrypt data obviously we only have one choice and that's kiss so 
Kiskro allows third parties to hold the cryptography key. And if you have followed previous videos, you know that if you have asymmetric keys like RSA, you have a public key, you have a private key, and you decrypt and encrypt your information with those keys. And Kiskro is going to allow that to the third parties. All right, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed subscribe to the channel because more about to come like the video i wish you success in your exam and i'm going to catch you on the next one